guys, welcome to Small Bee Acres. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to make yitzkyu. It's an easy, yummy lunch on bread baking day, which we usually would just eat with jam, whatever. It's, but you're usually out of bread, so that's why you make yitzkyu. Also, as we're digging through history here at this farm, we've discovered that our barn is in this history book. Yes. Okay. So, since it's bread baking day, I'm going to make some fry bread, which is just the dough. I cut off dough from the bread that's the dough that's already rising. I just cut off a couple pieces and flatten it out, and I'm going to fry it. Now, this is called fry bread in Belize, but us Dicha call it itzkyum. So, in Belize, they would eat it with some kind of taco meat or taco toppings, or they just eat it with beans and rice. I know it's very misshapen, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look really pretty. My mother actually, I don't think, would use a rolling pin. She would use her hands, and she just flattens it out this way. But, not me, I'm going to roll it out. So I'm going to roll it out, and then we're going to deep fry it, and then we eat it with whatever toppings you want. So I don't know if the oil is hot enough yet, so I'm just going to put a little piece in there to find out. No, I think I'll wait a little longer. All right, I think our dough is hot. Our oil is hot enough now. Just going to lay them in there. And now we wait. I'm just using canola oil. I just use two forks to flip it over. Once it's a nice golden brown, you could use tongs. Flip this guy around, he's too tight. Squashing the other one. There we go. All right, that's it. That's all done. There's the fry bread, also called fry jacks, but for us, yeet's kyung. Yum. So, Rosedale Hall. Rosedale was not fully settled until about 1928 or 29. 1930, they formed a community club and needed a building. So, they decided to build a community hall. So in the early 1930s, there wasn't enough loose change around to buy a feed of oats for a nightmare. It was finally decided to put up a log building. This part of the program was simple. There was plenty of timber in the district at the time and enough men and equipment to get it out. A local sawmill operator was willing to saw the lumber needed for the floor and the roof for a share of the lumber. All the cash that was needed was one dollar for a permit to cut the lumber. We went to the woods like a logging crew and I think we cut all the logs needed in one day and hauled most of it out on the way home that evening. We financed the windows and the nails by putting on a few dances and we all worked to build the hall. The hall served as the community center for several years until it was replaced by a more modern building on a different site. The old hall was then sold and used as a storage shed. We later heard that Peter sold the quarter the old hall stood on and the new owner is intending to use it as a barn. And that's where we come in. The barn is 92 years old and still cooking. Why not? <laughs> we hope you enjoyed today's video. We had fun making it. 
Thanks for watching and God bless. We're going to show you how to blah, 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 blah. We're going to be making rokyu. Not true. On the audio, so then that won't work. Why not? <laughs> Say okay. Say okay.